everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're enjoying your day thus far and let's get straight into what is happening. So we'll be looking at the latest for 94L, all the latest data, what to expect across the islands because there's likely to be some periods of very heavy rainfall which will trigger flooding those gusty winds, uh, even some rough seas as well. So this system here could bring tropical storm-like conditions to portions of the Lesser Antilles as you're going to be heading into this weekend so we'll be taking a look at what is expected as of now and we'll also be talking about the eastern pacific there's an active tropical storm which is quickly strengthening which may make it to hurricane status and uh, there's also the caribbean and surrounding areas which we'll actually talk about first so let's get straight into it so this is the infrared satellite and there's still that stationary front in the region so as i explained yesterday if you saw my morning update that stationary front uh, as suggested by the name it has tall and it's not moving and ahead of that boundary there's all this thunderstorm activity developing so near jamaica going up to cuba the bahamas down through parts of central america especially offshore of honduras nicaragua and even for uh, sections of costa rica we see a lot of thunderstorm development this morning so uh, a lot of heavy rainfall is expected across some of these areas we'll go on to that map in a moment but for now there isn't a whole lot happening for the islands Going to the Lesser Antilles, Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, there is a bit of activity moving through, maybe some brief showers and thunderstorms here and there, but uh, there is no area of that persistent convection over in the Eastern Islands to result in continuous rainfall right throughout today. So there could be some periods of intermittent showers here and there. ABC Islands, much is not happening for you guys, much is not expected either, and going down to Northern South America across sections of Co uh, Colombia, going to Venezuela, even for parts of Southern Guyana, and southwest Suriname, we can see that there is some activity within the area there we can see that edge of 94l we'll talk more about it in a moment as we look at this rainfall forecast for the day this is from the euro model and this goes out into the very early morning hours of tomorrow so let's see and as the map becomes very colorful with those shades of reds burgundies purples pinks a lot of heavy rainfall is expected so let's start up north and we're going all the way around so going up into florida we're not seeing where much is expected today there are those cool temperature a similar story for four uh, sections of the bahamas going to cuba down to the yucatan but we can see that for portions of the bahamas especially the central and southern bahamas maybe the turks and caicos islands as well going to eastern cuba sections of jamaica the cayman islands and down through parts of central america from honduras going through nicaragua costa rica panama a lot of heavy rainfall likely the northerly section of Honduras go into the Bay Islands right there. Very, very high rainfall totals. There could be periods of very, very heavy rainfall through today, guys. That has the potential to trigger flooding. So please stay safe and do not take any unnecessary risks as we head to parts of northern south america we can see that it's getting pretty colorful in these areas as well even for guyana uh Suriname, french guyana we're seeing these higher totals it's not often we see this because it has been very dry and the truth is some areas are still not going to be experiencing much rainfall activity today so hopefully your area will experience some showers but uh, that rainfall chance is higher for today as we head to trinidad tobago a whole not that expected maybe some showers thunderstorms popping up today similar story for grenada Again, ABC Isles, much is not expected. Through to the rest of the Lesser Antilles, including Barbados, not seeing where anything crazy is expected today. However, as we head further up north to the vicinity of Anguilla, heading to St. Martin, St. Bartholomew, there may be some periods of some heavier downpours there, but uh, overall, there isn't anything persistent that is expected within the area. Then going to the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and Hispaniola, which as we know consists of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. There may be some showers across some areas, but not going to be the case for everyone. Now we're moving on to 94L. So this is the latest from the NHC. Still that high 80% chance of development now through both 7 days and 48 hours. So by tomorrow, this may try to become a tropical depression. I mean, it has been looking a little bit better on satellite. So let's see if it'll actually match manage to make it to tropical depression potentially tropical storm status but i want to show you guys something very important here so this is a forecast of what is expected as we're going to be headed into saturday the 21st of october so even as we take a look at this outlook here from nhc the tropical analysis and forecast branch here we can see that they're showing that low pressure area 
possible tropical cyclone, possible storm approaching the Lesser Antilles, the Leeward Islands at the time. There's that area of high pressure which is steering that system to the west. There's that front. So uh, this will try to make a curve around that area of high pressure with that front opening up that opportunity for it to do so. However, the system still has a chance of moving even further into the Caribbean and the rainfall total could be pretty high for some areas. So this is a forecast from the Euro and this is out to Saturday night going to Sunday. So let us zoom into some areas going to Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and also the Lesser Antilles. So kickstarting with Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. So we can see here that for Puerto Rico, there's not going to be a whole lot of rainfall. There could be some heavier downpours in sections of the east and even the northern part of the country as well. And through most of the Virgin Islands, maybe just over an inch of rainfall in total. But we see that burgundy shade indicating uh, closer to two inches of rainfall for parts of Anegada and even for Virgin Gorda, the island of Virgin Gorda. Let's go on into the Leeward Islands. There you can see some of these purple shadings. So rainfall totals over two inches for uh, Anguilla, even going to Seba, St. Eustatius, going to St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat those higher totals three potentially up to four inches in some spots across Antigua and Barbuda as we go down to the vicinity of Guadalupe uh, there could be some rainfall totals up to two or more inches up to four inches again within these areas uh, especially for La Deserade I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly and uh, going down to Dominica maybe around two inches at the maximum throughout the time period. So we're seeing that the rainfall totals are getting a bit lower here. Similar story as we head down to uh, Martinique, maybe just over an inch of rainfall at the most, maybe an isolated two inches for some areas. Let's head down into St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and even going to the Grenadines and Grenada. We're seeing here that it's likely to be under an inch of rainfall at the most as we're going to be heading into the next couple of days for Barbados, maybe just over an inch in the island across the Islands, but down through uh, Trinidad and Tobago again, uh, there's not likely to be a whole lot of impacts from 94L. We're not seeing that being depicted here. Again, there may still be some periods of heavy rainfall here and there, but as for those tropical storm like conditions, that is likely for the northeastern islands, particularly the Leeward Islands. So uh, that is what is anticipated from the Euro model, guys. And it is important to note that we could see some changes even as we head into later today or tomorrow in regards to these rainfall totals and uh, even a slight change change can make a big difference in the areas which experience a lot of heavy rainfall so it's definitely something to closely watch for but you know me i'm going to be keeping you guys posted as we head throughout the day now you may be wondering what the invest looks like because i actually haven't shown it just yet let's go on to that right now so this is the satellite imagery of the system and we can see that it is trying to get itself together it is producing a lot more activity even trying to rotate in that counterclockwise fashion so it may become a tropical depression as we're going to be heading into tomorrow let's see how it is evolving through today let's see if it's going to be looking a lot better by this evening maybe even achieving depression status by then who knows so uh definitely watching for that but uh, those impacts in portions of the lesser antilles are pretty likely as i showed you guys earlier on the surface chart forecast from the tropical analysis and forecast branch they are showing the system possible tropical storm we'll have to wait and see let's hop over into the eastern pacific where there's a newly formed tropical storm norma so norma formed last evening and here we can see it it is actually trying to intensify quite quickly out there and uh, it is currently a strong tropical storm approaching hurricane status this is the latest cone forecast from nhc 65 mile per hour winds being sustained at the maximum and it is making its way to the northwest at seven miles per hour so it may become a major hurricane as soon as tomorrow afternoon so there's that m the m represents major hurricane right there h is just for hurricane which means cat 2 cat 1 so uh this is likely to rapidly intensify and i wouldn't be surprised if it makes it to major hurricane status before the expected time here we We've seen many of these hurricanes rapidly strengthen over in the eastern Pacific and even become a lot stronger than initially expected. So we're definitely watching for that. But then as we head into early next week, there could be impacts in portions of the southern Baja California Peninsula and even over into northwest Mexico. So eventually some watches and warnings will be posted, but I'll be keeping you guys uh, updated on the system. And uh, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update. So I hope you guys found this video to be quite informative informative however if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond to you once i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weather wise